Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose. And if you're a returning friend, I hope you're having a great day. So did, <laughs> so, did, so in today's video, I'm going to be yet another tag video. I actually really do love doing these, but I don't know if you guys love them as much as I do. I am going to be doing a tag video. It is called a lipstick tag. Tag. I got tagged by Samantha Izundu. She is a fellow YouTuber on here and uh, she created this tag. This is a tag full of 14 questions about lipstick, lippies, whatever have you. I don't know how she knew, but I am definitely a lipstick or lippy lover. I always have been since the Bonnie Bell days. I've been a lipstick lover for a long time. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for makeup and lifestyle. I will put my socials here. I do have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when I do upload a new video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. It's really hot here right now. Yesterday, it was 90 something in Massachusetts, currently 93 degrees, but it feels like 100 right now. I am dying. It is hot in here and I'm thirsty some water out of a slurpy cup because that's what we do in this house. <laughs> okay, so the first question is most unique packaging. I got this in my BoxyCharm or Ipsy, I'm not quite sure, but this is the Belle en Argent. Belle en Argent, I'm probably saying that wrong. This is the Artur Cream lip color in Smoking on Screen. So this is the packaging. It is super cool. It's got this, not even embossed, inverted squares and the packaging is just really cool. It is huge though. Like I've got my lipstick organizer here and it doesn't even fit in the squares. But I would say that this is definitely the most unique packaging. When you take this off, it is magnetized. I mean, it's just so cool. And this is the color. It is very dark. I really love it though for fall. And then when you put this back on, it's magnetized. Packaging is a bit much, it's huge, but it is really cool and unique. And then the next question is best lipstick formula. I'm gonna have to go with my KKW Beauty Cream Lipsticks. I have it in Nude 1, Nude 2, and Nude 4. That's how much I love these. This is the packaging. It is plastic as, I mean, with almost any other lipstick but it is like i don't know like for me i feel like with kkw beauty that the packaging would be not plastic but i mean it is cool the aesthetic is cool for this formula it is very interesting because it is a cream lipstick when you put it on it's very creamy it's probably one of the most creamy lipsticks i've ever put on in my life. When you put this on, it is super creamy, buttery, it is opaque, it doesn't move around too much. After about 10 minutes or so, maybe even less, it becomes almost a matte lipstick. It is the weirdest thing. It is really cool though, and that's why I feel like this is the best formula. It's still moisturizing, even when it dries down matte, if that makes sense. Number three, longest wearing. I literally just got this in my my Ipsy like two months ago and every time that I wear it you can't even get it off like through eating through drinking something through talking and I talk a lot you guys know this I talk too much sometimes and this has lasted throughout all of that the tart tartiest lip paint I have this in fortune this one is budge proof it is it's budge proof. You can't even get it off with just licking your hand and using a towel and taking it off. I need to get this in more of like nude shades for any other shades, but this is, this is awesome. I really do enjoy this, but this is definitely the longest wearing. Most affordable. Okay, so my most affordable lipstick that I own is by Maybelline. It is one of, one of, I'm saying one of like that because I have many. I can't choose a favorite. That's why it's really hard for me to do favorites because 
I don't really, I have to choose like three. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Matte Lipstick. This is in 535 Purely Nude. I love this lipstick. This is almost similar to Max Myth, and this is matte, but this retails at Target for $6.39. I love this shade so much. You can put almost any lip liner with it and it is going to look bomb. Number five, most expensive slash luxury. I would probably say the most expensive lipstick that I do own nowadays is going to be the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Joy Red. This is $25. I just don't really spend a lot of money on lipsticks anymore. Like I said, I did have a Tom Ford lipstick that I had purchased when I worked retail and I had a discount, but I think it was like originally $40 and I got it for like 20 something, like high 20s, but I wouldn't, I just, drugstore is really stepping up their game. That's all I have to say. But this one is Joy Red, it's so pretty. It is a mauve brown shade. On me, it looks really gray. So I have to find um, a lip liner that goes really well with this, but. That one is going to be my most expensive lipstick. And number six, underrated brand. Okay, so <laughs> I can't just do one. I can't just give you guys one underrated brand. I'm gonna give you guys two because you can't make me just choose one. I just can't, I just can't do it, I can't. If you ask me what my favorite is, I'm gonna give you two. My number one most underrated brand, you guys already know what it is, is Revlon. I know that Revlon fell off for a while there. No one really purchased a lot of stuff from them. And they were just kind of like one of those brands where you're like, oh yeah, there, there's that brand. They've got an end cap there. They've got some new stuff here. But then you had all these other drugstore brands that were just really doing it and it seemed more appealing. But I don't think you should judge a book by its cover. Their stuff is bomb, you guys. Their highlighter, their bronzer, their foundation, their lipsticks, everything is so good. Don't underestimate Revlon because they have really good stuff. I would say that the Revlon lipsticks, especially the matte ones, they are so comfortable to wear. They're easy to put on. They last a good amount. It's not gonna last as long as a liquid lipstick. Let's be real here. A regular bullet matte lipstick, you're gonna have to reapply every couple of hours or so. I mean, it's just, we gotta be realistic. We don't live in a dream world, right? I love their packaging. It's sleek, it's simple. They have quality products. This shade here, it's called On Fire. It's like this orangey shade. This is one of my most favorite shades that they have, but this goes on so smooth. I mean, come on, look at that. That is beautiful. There's no skipping. It's smooth. There's no patches, no patchiness. It's just, it's perfect. I love it. And then the other brand that I have to bring up to you guys is one that no one ever really talks about. I have to bring up this brand because I'm wearing it on my lips right now, and it is one of my most favorite liquid lipsticks that I own. This is by Give Them Lala Beauty. This is her matte liquid lipstick and this is in NDA. It is supposed to be more of like a or red shade is what she calls it, but on me it looks orange and it's like a bright in your face orange. It makes your teeth look white. It's super easy to apply. It does not transfer. It's super comfortable. It almost feels as if it's not on your lips and it has a long lasting Staying, staying power. This stays on your lips. I need to try more of her liquid lipsticks. I do have her other regular lipsticks and lip glosses and they're really comfortable to wear, but this lipstick right here, I'm telling you guys, if you guys have not tried her brand yet, you need to try it. It's it's so bomb. Number seven, favorite nude lipstick. Oh my God. Why does this have to be so hard every single time? For my favorite nude lipstick, I'm going back in <laughs> with this brand. It is a KKW Beauty Cream Lipstick in Nude One. It is a very light nude. It is actually the lightest nude that she has. But like I said before, when you put this on, it's super creamy, it's opaque, it doesn't skip. And after a while, it does kind of go to a matte finish, but it blends in really well with any lip liner that you do have. You can put a lip liner all over your lips or another liquid lipstick all over your lips and put this in the center and it just looks so gorgeous. I'm gonna show you guys all 
three shades that I do have. I just love that she has different tones. She has uh, peachy tones. She has just your basic nude, like neutral tones. And this is nude one. It's more of a pinky tone, but on me, it's more of a neutral. It's a little light, but it still works. This is nude two. This is more of like my basic lip shade that I can wear with no lip liner. This one's really pretty and this one's nude four. I wanted something that was a little bit more on the brown tone. I love, love, love these lipsticks. Number eight, favorite red. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of red lipsticks. I'm always wearing red. It doesn't matter if it is spring, summer, fall, winter, I'm wearing red, no matter what, it's just, my color. In the past, my favorite red lipsticks were by Kat Von D. It was called Outlaw. This is the one that people ask me what I wore the most about a year ago. Even when I worked, they always asked me what I wore and it was Outlaw by Kat Von D. And I used to also wear MAC Red like crazy at work. My current new favorite red lipstick, I just got in the mail the other day. I just did a video on this and I am completely obsessed with it. It is like the perfect blue tone deep red shade. It is so beautiful. It is by Revlon. It is the Sophia Carson collection. This is called the Sophia Red. It is a matte lipstick. You guys, I don't even know how many people told me in my video that this is my color and it really is. It is so pretty. I mean, how pretty is that? Look at how pretty that is. Do you see how it's just, it's matte? There's no skipping, there's no, I mean, it's just opaque. It is my favorite red lipstick. I can go on and on and on about it, I love it that much. Number nine, don't waste your money. Like I said, I don't buy a lot of higher end lippies anymore, so these are both gonna be drugstore. The first one that I would say absolutely 100% is the e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick. I've literally only used this twice. The color is really nice, but it is so drying on your lips to the point where you have to put something over top. If you don't, then it's gonna feel like the Sahara Desert. It doesn't feel good at all. Granted, this is only like a few dollars, maybe six dollars, I don't know, but it's just not, like just don't do it. It's really drying, but I do love their other stuff, so there's that. Another one that I would say don't waste your money on is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Liquid Lipstick. I have two of these and I bought these a while ago. The colors are both really pretty. These applied pretty easily. They were opaque. The only thing that I don't like about them is is that it takes like 10 years for them to dry down and when they do dry down they're still sticky 10 most daring shade so i'm going to do one that i purchased myself and then one that i got sent in pr my most daring shade that i had purchased is by smashbox it is the always on liquid lipstick in tar pit so it's just a black liquid lipstick this is probably one of the best formulas that I have ever used in my life. I don't know how I haven't purchased any more. The formula is dry, but it doesn't dry your lips out. This is what the applicator looks like. Oh, it's dried out. There we go. It's a little dried out, guys. This is one of the best formulas that I've ever used. I can't believe this is dried out. Well, I haven't used it in a while, but whatever. And then the other most daring shade that I have, I actually have two, but I'm just gonna show you one, is by Revlon. It is the, you guys, I always, <laughs> Every time that I try to say this name, it's just the longest name in history and I always forget it. So I'm just gonna say it is the Revlon Super Lustrous, the matte lipstick. That's all that I can remember. Uh, but the shade is in Rhythm and Blues. It is a blue color. I do wanna use this shade maybe during Halloween or something like that. But this is like a, so it's a blue with a purple undertone. It is really cool. I did get a gray one, but I probably say that blue is the most daring out of all of them. 11, most worn. Drama aside, <laughs> my most worn lipstick is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin. I wear this in my videos, in multiple videos. I wear this when I go out. I wear this when anything all the time. This is one of the most used and worn liquid lipsticks or lipsticks that I do own other than the KKW Beauty. I just really love this shade because it's a great neutral. It's not 
too dark it's not too light and it's just like it's like right in between like the kkw beauty one it goes with almost any lip liner 12 most recently purchased i've already shown you guys this one so my most recent lipstick purchase is the huda beauty matte lipstick in joy ride again i think i'd seen this on an instagram and this looked really good on her and i was like oh my god i need to get this the tone looks really pretty i do want to purchase more i just right now i have so many lipsticks that i just don't need anymore and on top of that we have to wear masks so what's the point this is my most recent purchase and i'm really happy with it oh boy okay so for this next one i have to turn off my camera and count all the lipsticks that i do have so just give me a second and i'll be back in just a minute y'all i'm embarrassed i am embarrassed right now <laughs> I counted all of the lipsticks that I have, including bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, shiny lipsticks, whatever is classified as a lipstick. And in total, I have 131 lipsticks. Yeah, you heard that right. I feel kind of sick right now because I literally don't even use half of them. So um, if you guys want to declutter, please let me know soon because I have a ton of lipsticks and lip glosses to declutter. I have a lot. I'm sure there are people that have like four or 500 lipsticks, but for someone who's a stay at home mom, that's unnecessary. Okay, so for the last one, number 14, lipstick you want to buy. Clearly I don't need any more lipstick, but I would probably say Tom Ford. Those lipsticks are amazing. They are super comfortable to wear. Surprisingly, they last a really long time, even though I probably had an older formula from way back in the day, but their cream lipsticks lasted almost all day. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and a couple of other lipsticks that she has because you guys know that I do love Charlotte Tilbury. Those are the two that I want to purchase next. For tagging people, I'm going to tag the people that I want to down below in the description box. So I'm going to add you guys a check down below to see if you guys are tagged in it. And hopefully you guys do the tag because it was really fun. I just can't believe how many lipsticks I have, you guys. This is, this is too much. This is an ungodly amount of unnecessariness. <laughs> It's not even a word, but whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you guys want to see a declutter of my lipsticks, lip glosses, a declutter of anything. I know that those are huge right now. And I, I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. I'm a collector, but it is sickening. I'm just saying. Also, let me know what your guys' favorite lipstick is, what your favorite red is, what your favorite nude is, so that I could try it out. Because, I mean, even though I don't need any more lipstick, I'm always open to trying out other products. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.